bloody fantastic. Hey, hello everybody, my name is Good Boy, and welcome to a video on Dota Plus and Battle Cups. Why, oh why, Valve, can't you do basic things right? <laughs> um, so, uh, before we begin, hit like, subscribe, share, check out the links in the description to support my channel. Yeah, all that jazz. So, it's been an interesting weekend for those that enjoy Battle Cup. So, Battle Cup's one of the, uh, you know, premier selling points of, uh, of Dota Plus. Seeing as rank rolls clearly are irrelevant, as are the sets and the relics for the heroes. But at least it's Battle Cup, where you team up with other team, other players, and then you have a, you know, a best of eight tournament, a last man standing wins. You know, and there's a real sense of achievement and pride when you do it. But there are problems. There are problems with Battle Cup. Namely, the fact that you can only play on your particular server. So if you're, for example, from Europe or North America, it plays at a certain time. In Europe, it's 6 p.m. GMT or 7 p.m. Central European time. Um, and so if you don't, aren't able to play at that time generally on, on one day of the week, which is Saturday, congratulations, you don't get to play at all. And for me, I've played Battle Cup once. I haven't been a Dota Plus subscriber for over a year because it's always at 6 p.m., which is literally, for a man with young children, the worst possible time of the day. 8 p.m. would be great. I could do Battle Cup. Great, let's do it. You know, or an earlier time in the day, you know, early afternoon, for example, would also work. But literally, that narrow window where I'm putting my children in the bath and then uh, putting them to bed happens to be exactly when they run Battle Cup, which is just uber annoying. So, you know, so, so the rigid only one time in the day and that's it, unless you want to play on a completely different server with a bajillion ping, option is a problem. But it yields other problems as well, and this is what happened over the weekend. Show you some pictures now. Server too busy. Server full. Server is so full you can't play. And then when people finally did try and play, it told them, "Oh, you've already played Battle Cup today," even though they hadn't. And so the reality is, because you've got a huge influx of people all um, bustling into the server at uh, one particular time of the day. The end of consequence is that regularly Valve can't actually cope with the load and then what happens, they t reject a lot of uh, would-be players and would-be teams and then not as many people get to play Battle Cup. And I think that kind of sums up pretty nicely exactly what the problem is here and is a fundamental flaw I think with Battle Cup is that doing it all at once is kind of screwing people over. But also, Valve really should be hotter on this and making sure that their servers are actually capable of doing it. Now, one person has suggested on Reddit, which I quite like, make a public apology and give free shards to all the Dota Plus uh, subscribers after what happened yesterday, well, not yesterday, but you know, a couple of days ago with Battle Cup, which I agree with, they should. This is ridiculous. People should get free shards as compensation for screwing it up. Um, but I, I think ultimately, it like, uh, I had to be the person that kind of continues to go on about this, but they, they really, really need to make some crucial improvements to Dota Plus if Valve wants to keep going with it, all right? It's 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 kind of like, uh, oh, I'm gonna take like three pounds off you a month or five dollars off you a month. See you later, suckers, because there's no reason at all to do it. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of where we're getting with Dota Plus right now. And the problem is as well, is that because people like me are releasing videos with the frustrations and concerns about Dota Plus, as you can probably imagine, not many people who don't have Dota Plus are particularly well inclined to get Dota Plus because, again, why bother? You know, one of the biggest selling features is Battle Cup, and now you can't even log on to that successfully. <laughs> and then servers overheat at the time because everybody's pinging it because they only do Battle Cup at one time of the day, in once a week. Ah, there are so many problems, aren't there? So, I, I think in principle, I actually agree with Dota Plus, and I want Dota Plus to succeed, but until they iron out these pretty key issues that are coming up with Dota Plus, I just, I just can't really, even though I use it myself currently, I don't know why anymore, um, I just can't recommend Dota Plus to people, and I, I think that's a shame because Valve needs Dota Plus to work, you know, it, it helps Valve improve the Dota 2 product. And I, that's what I want them to do. You know? Um, but, but you know, hey-ho, 
that is that's Val's issues. That's Val's problem there. Anyway, I'd love you all in the in the thread below, comments below, to uh, tell me what they think, how they're getting on Dota Plus. If they don't use it, if you don't have Dota Plus, would you ever consider using it? <laughs> Not now. Um, you know, and all that sort of jazz. Please comment below and tell me what you think, and also suggest possible improvements. You know, um, what what do you what what in an ideal world would Dota Plus look like? All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.